All right, thank you, Linz. 547 this morning, being on the front line is taking a very real toll on nurses and first responders. New this morning, 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom introduces you to a new resource to support the mental health of those workers. Haunting images are daily reminders that our nation's first responders and medical teams are at war with a virus. They are putting themselves in harm's way to treat and care for their patients. And they are also worried about passing on the potentially deadly COVID-19 to their families. And for the first time, nurses are alone at a dying COVID patient's bedside. Holding the hands of patients that family members can't be there to support the amount of pain that you go through. Those are, are, are very challenging things that shouldn't be done in isolation. Um, and those are also traumatic instances that you end up carrying with you. And so if you don't ever have the time to process them, then they just follow you around. Like soldiers on the front line, mental health experts said these healers need healing. And a group specializing in caring for the mental health and well-being of veterans and first responders is offering medical professionals six free counseling sessions. Process through those traumas. You can have somebody that talk to, you can have somebody to help give you some healthy coping skills. So after this event, ends, um, our first responders and our medical personnel can get back to living their lives. The new program is called the Warrior Teletherapy Network. The University of Kansas Health System already provides its health care workers with counseling. They decided to offer workers the option to get free counseling through the Warrior Teletherapy Network. We need to have as many opportunities as we can to support the emotional well-being of our front line while they serve our community. You can get free counseling by visiting thebattlewithin.org. Without emotional support from counseling, mental health providers say it's just a matter of time until workers overwhelmed mentally break down. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.